All right, guys, we're going to be solving question 55 from the third chapter of the Merriam textbook in Dream Mechanics. This question was also requested by one of you guys, and we have a portion of the shifter mechanism for a manual car transmission that we can see in the figure. We have an 8 newton force that is exerting on the shift knob at point A, and we need to determine the corresponding force P exerted by the shift link BC on the transmission. So we're talking about this part of the figure, which is not shown in here, and we can neglect the friction of the ball and socket joint at point O, and also the joint B, and the slip tube near support D. We know that the soft rubber at point D allows the slip tube to self-align with the link BC. So if you just try to draw the free body diagram for this part of the system, we can see that the force P is going to apply from the link BC to this member in this direction. So we are considering the free body diagram of member ABO. And based on our equilibrium equations, we should be able to find all the unknowns. And at point O, since we have a ball and socket, we're going to call this OX and OY. Since it can freely rotate uh, without any friction, there is no need for uh, considering a moment at that point. All we need to do in here is just to find a moment about point O, and we're going to consider counterclockwise positive as always, and we just have to resolve these two forces to X and Y components. And I'll start with the 8 Newton force, the horizontal component, since we know this angle is 5, would be 8 cosine of 5 degrees. And this will be the vertical component, 8 sine of 5. And for the P, you're going to have the same story. We know this angle right here is 15 degrees. So this will be P cosine of 15 degrees. And this would be P sine of 15 degrees. So we're going to use our 2D shortcut to find a moment about point O. Let's start with the... The 8 Newton force, so uh, the horizontal component, I'll just call this our x and y. So the x component is going to be clockwise moment, so negative minus 8 cosine of 5 degrees. And the distance would be the vertical distance to the line of action, which is basically 188 plus 75 millimeter i'm not going to do the unit conversion because it will be cancelled out at the end and the moment of the vertical component since a little bit to the left of the point o 25 millimeter it's going to rotate around this direction so that's actually counterclockwise eight sine of five degrees and the distance would be 25 that's pretty much everything for that one and for the Force P, we're going to have the moment of X component in this direction. So counterclockwise positive plus P cosine of 15 degrees. And the distance would be 75. And the other one, P sine of 15, would be also counterclockwise. And that distance is also 25 millimeter. And this will be equal to zero. And we only have one unknown in this equation. You can just factor one P in here. So if we just factor P, we're going to have 75 cosine of 15 plus 25 sine of 15. And in the numerator, we're going to have 8 cosine of 5 times 180 plus 75 minus 8 sine of 25 times 20. So we just have to calculate this. And I'll be done with this question. So 8 cosine of 5 times 188 plus 75 minus 8 sine of 25 times 25. And in the denominator, we're going to have 75 cosine of 15 plus 25 sine of 15. Okay, here I made a mistake. This is actually 5. And yeah, this is going to give us 26.34 newtons. And the reason I didn't do unit conversion is that because we're going to just multiply each of them by a thousand. So we'll be cancel out. So there's no need to unit conversion. And that would be the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.